This is an inverted back roll with a hand drag and you can learn this trick in three easy steps. First you'll learn how to steer the kite and after that we focus on the back roll with the appropriate body positioning. This is one of my favorite trick tricks to do in a range of wind speeds and recently I also started to add blind landings into the sequence making for an interesting flow. Of course this is very advanced stuff but I'm certain you'll enjoy every step as much as I enjoyed performing this sequence. Let us rewind for a moment to the essentials of the back row hand drag and that is the kite steering. You might notice that the kite slowly passes 12 towards the opposite side of the wind window supporting the rider's weight in the process. To practice this movement I like to use an exercise that I call the suspended flight. Ride in with medium speed at a crosswind course and kite at 45 degrees. Slowly steer the kite up towards 11 and pop off the water as it hits 12.30. Continue steering the kite past 12 and try to stay as close to the water as possible. As the kite hits 11 you pull the bar all the way down and steer hard with your back hand to pull it in a loop. Follow the pull of the kite downwind whilst you keep steering hard to continue the down loop. You can now choose to make it a transition or to continue riding in the same direction. Only untwist your bar when you have full control over your kite. There are a couple of key points that will make the suspended flight a lot easier. First of all, you want to go for a soft pop on the takeoff. In other words, don't load up your lines as you would for a big jump. You can adjust your flying height with the steering speed of the kite and the positioning of the bar. Fast steering together with the bar down will generate more lift. Slow kite steering together with bar up will generate less lift. Next to that you can also loop the kite very late in order to minimize the amount of pull that it delivers. When you feel comfortable with the suspended flight we can throw a back roll into the mix. First off we'll start with two hands on the bar. Slowly steer your kite up towards 12 as you would for the suspended flight. Pop into a back roll on the takeoff and focus on the kite steering. Try to look over your front shoulder to spot your landing and judge your flying height. Point your board in the right direction and initiate the loop with bar down on the landing. Follow the pull from the kite downwind and continue steering until the kite points back towards 12. Adding the back roll with consistency is key as you'll have to figure out how much rotation to add. Next to that it's important to remember that you pull that loop late as we do not want to end up in an unintended back roll kite loop. You can even land on the water and continue riding a little bit before you loop that kite. When you feel comfortable with the back roll it's time to take it to the next level and start reaching for that water with a back roll hand drag. This time we need to let go with the front hand in order to reach for the water. Lift your legs up on the takeoff and lean back with your body to get closer to the water. When the kite loses power it's time to bring the legs down and prepare for your landing. Remember to follow the power of the kite downwind. Your focus should remain with the kite as steering makes or breaks this trick. On the takeoff you pull your legs in and lean back so it's easier for you to reach the water. An essential part of controlling the kite with one hand is the positioning on the bar. You want to place the power line between your middle and index finger. This is the hand positioning I use for most of my one handed tricks as it allows me to pull the bar down and still control the amount of steering that I give. The most common mistakes include steering a kite too fast and therefore not being able to reach the water. In this particular case I also looped the kite too late and it crashed. Not steering your kite fast enough and not pulling the bar down might result in your bum hitting the water. This is not a big issue and if you focus on your kite steering it's considered a minor crash. Lastly if you pull your loop too early it might generate a lot of power and speed downwind which will be hard to control. Let's end this with style by going inverted. This is something that will come with time as you need to feel comfortable with the back roll hand drag and the kite steering. It's as simple as throwing your head back and extending that back leg for the extra style points. Just take care about the timing as this is essential 
for the nice inversion. With that, we come to the end of this video. Go check out my other movies or tutorials if you have the time, and I hope to see you on the next one. Cheers.